So in this video, I'll be showing you the exact way you can actually record your courses, right? Uh, so that you can upload the courses on your dashboard, uh, in your course creation dashboard or several accounts, or even applicable to anyone who wants to record videos and share their screen at the same time. Note that this is going to be applicable when you use your laptop or your PC alone, majorly. So the first thing that you want to ensure is that you, your, I mean, your PC has a um, camera, you know, to show your face. That is very important. And this is because many times it is easier for people to connect with you when you have a face attached with your uh, course. One. Secondly, you avoid the risk of someone else impersonating you uh, to teach a course and then you, and we don't even know who the person is or we are unable to confirm whom the person is. So you need to show your face while recording, just like you can see my face now, right? You need to show your face as you speak and share your screen. So I'll be showing you the software you can use now. There are several ways you can do this right but i'll show you one today other times i'll be adding more more ways you can record your courses seamlessly right so two things you need a pc or a laptop secondly you need to show your face so if your laptop does not have a camera on uh at the top you can get an external camera more like a webcam that you can just connect with your PC. It's not really expensive. It's just something you can clip with your PC here on top and then you that can show your face while you are speaking. I think if you check some stores, you will see the webcam. Just look for a webcam that you can use with your PC, right? So let's move ahead. So the first thing that uh, you want to do is launch your browser. So I'll be showing you this method now. It's called um, using Vimeo. So Vimeo is a platform you can use to uh, record your courses. Although the platform has a limit to your free account, right? But with even the, with the limit, you can still do a lot of things with the limits. Yeah, you can do a lot of things. You can record your courses and download them to your local PC and then keep deleting it. And then you do another one, you download, you delete, you don't know, you download like that, like that. So if you use that method, you won't need to pay any money and you'll be able to record your courses. However, this would have limited editing features. So if you are going to record using this Vimeo now, Vimeo, you have, you have to ensure that you are ready to record and you minimize your mistakes right so let's move ahead right so the first thing that you want to do is go to vimeo.com vimeo.com so on vimeo.com if you don't have an account you would be asked to create so what you want to do is just create an account well plugin simple and straightforward right so get started you create an account with them you can just use your Google to join, I mean, to, to create an account. You know, instead of you entering your name here, you can use Google. But I have an account already, so I'll just log in. So I'm logging in now. So once, okay, so it will ask you to if you're using Google, you'll be asked to choose an account to log in with. So uh, I've chosen the one I'm logging in with. Now, once you log in, this is your dashboard on Vimeo, right? So you can see that you can do quite a lot with your Vimeo um, account, yeah? So oh, what you want to do is click on record. So you can click on record. So 
you can do several things with Vimeo. Maybe in some other videos, I'll show you how to upload videos, how to create uh, videos and do other stuff. But what we want to do today is to record, right? To record a course or a video that will also be showing your screen as you are speaking, right? So click on record. So once you click on record, like I said again, Vimeo um, free account has a limited um usage so you would need to record your course download what you have recorded and delete what you recorded so that you can keep spaces to record more courses because by the time you record maybe three or four videos your account storage may be full except you upgrade to the premium version but like i said again if you don't want to go through all this, if you want to use a software that is forever free and you can record no matter the amount of videos you want, that will be done using a software which I am using currently, right? And I'll be showing you later on how to use that. Um, you want to record, right? So you want to show your face, right? You want to show your face. This is not working correctly because I'm using the camera with this, with another software that I told you about. So that's why it's not working because I'm clicking on this now, but it's not showing because I'm already using the camera with another software that I'm using to record this video. But if, if you're not using a camera with another software, it should work. And then you can also unmute your mic, right? You can unmute your mic. So once you unmute your mic and you turn on your video, right? It will tell you to start recording, right? So once you start recording, so you can see it here, stop using your camera elsewhere to start recording because I'm using my camera currently. That's why it stopped. I mean, it is not able to start, right? So, um, I don't want to disable my camera or should I try to disable? I think I shouldn't. <laughs> so let me just continue. So, once you click on start recording it will start showing your face and all but then you want to ensure that you are sharing your screen before you start recording so ensure that you click on this click on this and click on this to share your screen so once you click on this it will tell you to click to share your your chrome tab your window most times i recommend entire screen all right just to make it simple share your entire screen and also share system audio if you want to. System audio means if you want to share the audio coming out from your system too. If you want it to be heard in your video. Alright, so once you click on share, we on share, it will start sharing your screen. So right now, your screen is already sharing. I can stop sharing my screen here, right? So your screen is already sharing like this. So if you start showing uh maybe your PowerPoint, if you have a PowerPoint you have prepared for your class or for whatever you want to record, your screen is already showing and then it's your face will be showing once this one is turned on, right? So your PowerPoint uh, slide is another thing you need if you want to record your course. You can use Google slide to prepare your PowerPoint uh or your key points to top i mean let me show you what i mean so if you click on let's say you want to use this now so let me use this as an example because i use this on you know one of the webinars i did right i use this uh PowerPoint. So once you you start currently, your screen is sharing, right? So if you start recording, it should be sharing both your face and your computer screen. So you can just click on slideshow so that as your screen is sharing, your face is showing, your full video can contain just your slides alone. You can always navigate to more things on your 
PowerPoint. You already know how to use this one. If you don't know how to use Google Slide, maybe I will do another video on how to use Google Slide, right? So Google Slide is very simple. It's just like your PowerPoint and you can use or already made templates. You can just try to edit, all right? So for example, now if you, if you know how to use normal PowerPoint, you don't need this aspect, just use your normal PowerPoint. If you don't know, you can just use select a template here for example if you select this uh, template now it's going to load and you can edit it right so you can edit it to whatever you want so it's still loading so you can see you can edit it to whatever you want to edit it to so it just depends on you and powerpoint slides are simple i mean maybe use Google slides or, or, or whatever, make it as simple as possible. Nothing complex. Simplicity is, is, is the key. So you can see it's like simple stuff, simple stuff, simple stuff, you know, simple stuff. So it's as clear and precise as that. So that's how to use, um, Vimeo to record your courses. So once you are done, right? Once you are done, just come back, just go to your dash. Once you are done, your video might take some time to process. So it may not be ready immediately. You are done, right? So let me stop sharing. My, let me stop sharing my video screen, right? Let me go back. So once you are done, you will see your videos just come to libraries. So once you come to libraries you would see your videos here once it's ready sometimes it may take 15 minutes to process depending on how long this is sometimes it may take five minutes to process sometimes it may take 20 minutes it depends so just click on the video see just click on these three dots and download your video so let's say i want to download this now I'll just click on this and it's going to ask me which option to download always use the highest you know, always use the highest, always use the highest to download your videos. So once you download this, you would be able to access your videos in the download. Once that is done, just come to your to your downloads, and you can see your videos in your download folder here. So it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So once that is done and your videos are ready, then you can start uploading your videos on YouTube, just like is in the course uh, that I've created on the website. You can upload your, uh, your your videos on YouTube, make it unlisted on YouTube, and, and now upload and structure your curriculum, uh, your dashboard, and everything. Just follow the video that I made on the website, the course I made on the website on how to upload your video courses. It's as simple as that. Without making this too long, I hope you have been able to grab how to use Vimeo to record your course. Um, but you would watch the aspect of, of uploading your course on YouTube in my course, which I have, which is free on traveling.com. So you can just watch that course to learn how to upload your videos on YouTube and then, um, submit your course to traveling. So I hope that works for you. Have a great day.